Hello friends, welcome back to LMSDaily.com. In this video, I will show you how you can enable the self-enrollment method for your Moodle course. Kindly note that this process is different from the authentication which allows the users to log in to your Moodle site. This enrollment method will allow the students to enroll in this specific course only and nothing else. So let us jump in and see how you can enable the self-enrollment method for the Moodle course. As you can see that now I am logged into the Moodle as a teacher and I am already there on my course page where I would like to enable the self-enrollment method. So on this page all you need to do is go to this participants tab here and then choose the enrollment methods in this drop down which is the second option. So here you will see the list of enrollment methods available and enabled for this course. So as you can see that the guest access is disabled as of now for this course but the other three enrollment methods are enabled. In case you want to enable anything then all you need to do is click this i icon to enable. So as of now you can see that this self enrollment method is already enabled for this specific course on my Moodle site. If you would like to add any new enrollment method you can select by going this add method and then choosing anything here. So let me show you by adding a new self enrollment method here. Here you can give it a name. Let us say that I want only a certain students to be logged in by using this uh, self enrollment method. So let me give that I want a first 100 only. So I want to enroll only 100 students in this course by using this enrollment method. And as an identification, I have given this as the name of first 100. The next option allows you to, uh, if you want to allow the existing enrollments, then I will leave it as default to yes. The next option is to allow the new enrollments. This is what I would like to keep it to yes. The next option is for the enrollment key. So in case you want the enrollment methods to be used only by a specific group of students, then you can set up a enrollment key here and then share that key with those specific students and which they can use to enroll in your course. If you want to let them enroll in a specific group, then you can choose yes for this use group enrollment keys here. I will explain one day about this group enrollment keys and how you can use them. In the next field, you can choose the defined as default assigned role then it has to be generally student but in case you want someone to be used as the non editing teacher you can choose here let me keep it to student by default as of now in the next field you can choose the enrollment duration let us say that i want this thing to be available for 20 weeks and if i would like to notify them before their enrollment expires in this course then choose yes here with teacher and enrolled user option here now here in the next field you can see that the notification threshold option has been enabled so let me say that i want it to be reminded by seven days prior to their enrollment expiration you can also choose this enrollment method start and end date here and in case a student never uses or logged in after using this enrollment method then the plugin will automatically unenroll them after a certain period of time so let me say that if a student is inactive after 30 days then he has to be automatically unenrolled from my course and in the next field you can define the max enrolled user so as we are intending for a hundred user maximum so let me say 100 here and in the next field only cohort members if a student belongs to a certain specific cohort then only he can use this authentication or oh, sorry enrollment method then in that case choose the cohort name here so only the student from that cohort 
will be able to enroll using this enrollment method i will leave it to know as of now and then in the next field you can define the course welcome message who has the send address so you can choose either the course contact email address will be used or the no reply address of the site will be used let me say that i want to use the no reply address and then in the next text area you can define your course welcome message so let me say that please complete the course within three months so and then i will click on this add method here so as you can see that this first underscore 100 is added to my Moodle course so whenever any student will come then this will allow them to enroll in my course without any problem and it will be having a maximum intake of 100 students only so this is how you can set up your own self enrollment method on your Moodle course I hope you enjoyed this video and in case you still have any more doubts you can post them in the comment section below if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe the youtube channel and press the bell icon in case you have not yet done so thank you very much for watching